Do we start? Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Jorge. Uh, difficult to pronounce. Uh, George is the alternative in English. Uh, so, uh, the topic now, uh, first of all, thank you for being here. I'm not been talking about Pokemon. What is? <laughs> Strong competitor, okay? Uh, in any case, it has been great so far. Uh, I've seen a lot of ideas, so I thought that something that could be good here is not to present uh, because most of it comes as a discussion, so this is a pure discussion. It's a discussion about cycling, okay? We can bring the discussion back about whether cars or public transport, but okay, we all may agree that uh, cars are not the way for Singapore, and then we go to alternatives, so let's, let's just focus it only in, in cycling. So just look around, in Singapore really few people cycle. Uh, if you compare it with other countries, whether there are Asian countries as it could be in Taiwan, whether there are European countries as it could be Denmark, Netherlands. Uh, so the objective now is to set in this meeting, just to keep it simple, how to get more people to cycle, right? Yeah. <laughs> Big objective, but a small objective. Depending how we look at it. Okay, so more people, people cycling, cycling, and cycling not just for recreational purposes, but as a way of commuting, right? Uh, so, what I would like to bring to the table and get your your opinions on on why, what are the problems, what are the reasons, problems or reasons why people don't cycle? For if problem number A, why? Why is this a problem? Why this came about? And then how can it be solved? How can it be solved from a social perspective, from a government perspective, from a infrastructure, although that's a government perspective, in most cases, uh, or from any other perspective, economical perspective, you name it. So, reason number one why people don't cycle in Singapore. It's hot. It's hot. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Hot. Hot. And yeah, correct. Humid, <laughs> humid and rainy. Okay, so weather. Okay. Yeah, weather. <laughs> weather. <laughs> well, so why is that a problem? No, well, when, when you go to work, you'll be drenched. Right? <laughs> okay, so, it's, you know, it's, yeah, okay it's because of sweat. Yeah, correct. Okay. So, so you're either sweaty or you're wet. <laughs> so sweat, sweat or because of the rain, you'll or be wet. Or wet. Or wet. Or wet. Okay. Or wet. <laughs> Perfect. So how can we solve that? <laughs> what if I give you a shower facility? Shower facility, okay, cool. Understanding balls of school. So, okay, understanding balls. <laughs> like colleagues with uh, the yeah. <laughs> shower, okay. Uh, so, for example, an option would be to put showers in the office. Like, I have a company, my company wants to be cycle friendly, so I put a shower there. Yeah. Some locker so you can. Correct. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. So we have one more. More another reason why people don't cycle in Singapore. I think it's quite the, the public transport system is quite diverse as in we have access to most places, not like many of the developing countries whereby uh, connections do not run to some place or the other. So okay. Very complex uh, so public transport system. Yeah. Comprehensive, yeah. comprehensive public yeah. transport. Public okay. Transport. okay. Comprehensive. But not everywhere. 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 Uh, well, proper uh, bicycle parking. Uh, bicycle parking, okay. We will install the problems first. Parking. Safety. Safety, okay. Both cyclists and the pedestrians. And the drivers. And the drivers. Safety of cyclists, cyclists, okay. Pedestrians and drivers. So this would be three separate. Yeah. Cyclists, safety, uh, pedestrians, safety of drivers. Drivers, yes. Okay, so maybe we brainstorm like three more reasons and then we go in deep in each of them. So more reasons why people don't cycle. Do you guys cycle to work? So why not? Because of this or because any additional reason? Lazy. That's right. Lazy. Lazy. Yes. Yeah, because it takes an effort. Okay. Yeah. That's the reason why I wanted to focus it only in cycling, because if not, we have the personal mobility devices like scooters or whatever that, if you are lazy, they take you there. Yeah. I think, what are the reasons? Uh, at one time, I actually tried cycling from my home to Alistair Marty Station, okay. 
and what I found out was I stopped after a while because I keep working late at night. Then I took a cab home, which means now my bicycle. Ah. <laughs> okay. So that's the lack, like so dependency on your bike. So whenever you do it, you have to do it twice, right? Yes. And no so if I could like carry my bike with me, uh, it would have been a lot easier. That's okay. ownership as well. You own the bike. Rental, right? uh, if it's rental, then yes, it's a lot easier. Because okay, so actually the problem will be ownership, so, yeah. and one of the solutions so, yeah, is... It's too random. Uh, okay, so the problem is owner, ownership or dependency as a problem. Sorry about my writing, yes. I will just... Dependency, <laughs> okay, maybe... Or oh, distance. Distance, okay. Mm -hmm. Distance and laziness, do you say, would you say that are related? Or, or in your case, if it's one kilometer, it's already too much. <laughs> because maybe it can be related, right? Because... Uh, it can be, it may not be. Okay. Yeah, okay, we'll put this separate then. Distance, okay. The, the relative cost against public transport versus owning... Sorry, sir? The, the cost of owning a decent bike, like a good road bike, when compared to the low cost of public transport here. Okay. It's the economics of it. Okay. Okay. So maybe we start to, like, we hold the brainstorm here for a while, and then we we'll go. We have one more problem, time. So time. let's say I can take a cab five minutes, but okay. it can take me, I don't know, 10 minutes. Five minutes. Would you relate it with this? Partially. It's like partially, it's partially, but it's not really. Okay. okay. Yeah. Time? <laughs> I, I think there was a uh, there was a study that like you know what kind of mode of transport is suitable for a certain distance. Yeah. Like for example, car is really inefficient for like under ten kilo five kilometers. Uh, and uh, you know, an athlete would be like better for like few thousand miles. So that kind of uh, mode of transport. So for bicycles, they're really good for that kind of range, uh, five kilometers and Okay, so yeah, more efficient. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. it is perception an issue with anyone? Perception. Like you have a perception of cyclism, this kind of this sort of people, sort of associated. Yeah, I think Singapore there is. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Singapore yeah. there is. Perception, okay. <laughs> Self entitled and more. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true because if, if, if you have a bike versus if you have a car, even the best of the bikes may not be. Acknowledge as such an um, item or luxury as compared to a car. We all we understand what is a, a Ferrari or a Ford. But you can buy a Porsche design bike actually. True, 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 true. <laughs> but, 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 but it's more difficult to spot. Yeah. It's more difficult to spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, perfect. Let's gonna dip in in yeah. in each of them. So comprehensive public transport. Why is this a, a problem versus bike? It's convenient, yeah, right? It's something that okay. the car will take you where you want to go. It kind of relates to time as well. And fast. And fast. So actually, in a way, I don't think we need to solve this problem. Like, the, the problem of the public transport. Like, I mean, if you are talking public transport, you are already kind of... Yeah, it's hard to Okay, so let, let's gonna put this in a, in a secondary kind of a perspective. Bicycle parking. I think you mentioned the bicycle parking, right? So, wh why is this a problem? In, okay, in uh, you might have bicycle parking and MRT stations, yeah. but your office probably right. do not have Exactly. It. So, wh why the lack of bicycle parking at your office is a problem? In terms of it getting stolen, in terms of uh, not even having where to put it? Where to put it, yes. You, okay. You probably like hide it in some back stairs somewhere. Okay. Uh, it's still there. I so hope you'll still be there. In a way, it's like uh, <laughs> you might have security. Security, tie the tree. Tie the tree, tie the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the other one is, is just that some, is even impossibility of bringing it very near to your destination. Okay. Yes. So how can we solve this? In a, okay, there are a lot of ways of solving it, right? In what are the... Uh, economically efficient ways or space efficient ways of solving it. Centralized, buildings. Fold the bike. Fold, okay, foldable bike. Okay. Yeah, so 
the local bytes. So for okay, one. instead of solving it one way, you solve it from the other. So, so you can bring it to with you to your yeah, recall or whatever. Okay, that's that's option number one. Uh, another option of solving it. Some kind of collection. Yeah, automated check-in of Okay, yeah. so actually this links to the dependency because of ownership, right? Yeah. So, so uh, in a way, rental, rental, bike, rental yeah. okay? So, so <coughs> rental. okay? Of course, if, if, if we had a thousand hours, we could go into detail whether rental is efficient or not efficient from different point of view, but okay, good. Perfect. Uh, safety of the cyclist. Why is it a problem? Actually, no. Uh, sorry, sorry, I may need not. I may have not phrased it properly. Why is a problem for the cyclist? Because he can die. I believe, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so safety itself is a problem. So the one is bike lanes. Okay. Lanes. Lanes. There's no bike license. Sorry? No, there's not the bikers no rules uh, of the driving, uh, some of them do not know the driving rules at all. So okay. So they, 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 they don't ah. really, you know, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I think yeah. this one may be more of an issue for pedestrians than for drivers. Yeah, but I mean, for, for the, the cycle is so <laughs> <driving. laughs> All right, I, I expect you to, you, know, you want to cut out yeah. your signal, is it? Okay. But so otherwise, they don't do the pointing thing, yeah. We can call it education in a way. Yeah, correct. Yes, okay. yeah. What, what are the rules on, on like right of way here? Singapore for, for like cars versus bikes versus pedestrians. Bikes, I think. Uh, so, 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 what are the rules of right of way? Like, who uh, so, so there's two two different <laughs> vehicles, yeah. and there's certain laws like in the U.S. Like a pedestrian always has the right of way unless there's a marked crosswalk with an X feet. Yeah. Right. And cyclists have right of way. Did they take priority under certain situations? What what's the laws like that for bikes here? The rule is you need to the car needs to stay 1.5 meters yes. away from. Oh, you like, take, yeah. But otherwise, it, it, it's the same rules as a car. Yeah. Unless they're crossing a road that they could dismount and push their pedestrian. Any other solutions for the safety of the cyclist? So, education, bike lanes? Regulation. Sorry? Regulations. Like, well, okay. Cyclists should have some sort of like, I mean, cars have braking lights, etc. Well, they have to have reflectors. So that's yeah, regulation. Yeah, yeah. regulation. Yeah, but do you have something that's equivalent to like braking or something that has an actual light on it? I think. I mean, by regulation, at night you have to have lights. Correct. It's true that they don't need to be operable lights. They are always on. The obvious one is help bike helmets. Helmets. Like mandatory helmets. Mandatory helmets. I don't know. Is it by regulation you have to use a helmet here? No, I said that in the room safety. I know you're the same. But it's part of regulation. There are regulations for a bike, right? Um, yeah. There is yeah. volunteer and people. So the thing is that, so uh, so what happens is that like uh, we receive police reports and TPUs and file appeals back for them. Is that uh, above, uh, if the vehicle, if the mobility vehicle can travel above a certain speed, then they require a license and the, okay. o and the owner needs to have pads and a helmet. If not, if not actually one of our guys actually got and they came to ask for people. Okay. What is that, that speed? There's oh. a speed limit, there's a speed limit. So do you remember? Uh, oh, I think this is 50, yeah, I think it's something along those lines. Five zero. Yeah. Five zero. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have to be yeah. pretty professional. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so maybe we can move on to pedestrians, safety of the pedestrians. So I think uh, as of now, is I believe it's allowed to cycle in the footpath. No, no. cyclists always on the road. Uh, but uh, I know that LTA proposed yes. that cyclists are allowed. I don't, I don't know when they are going to pass the bill, but it has been already proposed. So if it's not already passed, it's going to be passed soon. So people can, by law, they can cycle on the, on the footpath with, with certain limitations, with certain the, speed as well. I thought the footpath is only for uh, mobility devices. Yeah. Um, and bikes as well. Bikes oh. as well. And there, I think you have to go under 15, 15, 15 yes. kilometers per hour, but there's still you can do it. So, how do we ensure the safety of the of the pedestrians? Oh, have a sign that says "Watch out for bikes." What do you mean? Signs, okay. Obnoxious bikers. Okay, separate signs. More. A mandatory bell on the on every bicycle so that you can warn pedestrians when they say coming. Yes. Bells. And a safety message to say that if you hear the bell, please turn around. 
the pedestrians don't wear your noise cancelling headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Back to regulation. Yeah, regulation. Back to regulation. Yeah, the bike ever hits a pedestrian for whatever reason. Yeah. Regulation. Regulation. Fine. Okay. Repeat it. Cool. How are we doing on time? We skip in the time. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Okay. Okay. Safety of the drivers. The drivers. No snaking around. Um, the, the no snake. Is it? No, no snake. Okay. Yeah. So that's education of the cyclist, right? Like, or oh, education and regulation. It should be fine. Okay, <laughs> regulation. <laughs> so again, regulation. Okay. Regulation. Uh, I would like to see the statistics of how many accidents do cyclists provoke versus receive. Like, that would be an interesting thing to, to see, whether it is actually a problem or not. Okay? Time. Is it a problem because, of course, you want to reach earlier to, to your destination? Uh, but actually, is it that much of a problem, time-wise? How, yeah, how long does it take you guys to reach to work? And how far do you need from work? More or less, as an average. Half an hour. Less than one hour. Half an hour to work. Half an hour. And how far do you live from where you work? In terms of kilometers, that'd be hard to know. But in terms of train stations, uh, <laughs> <laughs> six seven stops. <laughs> seven stops. Okay, so around ten, ten, ten maybe. Okay. Half an hour is probably ten to fifteen stops. Well, it depends on the time of year as well. Half an hour. I think it depends in Singapore. Like I have a friend who lives in uh, Tandu, right? Yeah. So yeah. from there it's very hard to get public transport. Yeah. So from there, he, for him, it takes 45 minutes by public transport and right. 30 minutes by cycling. Oh. 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 So oh. that is easier. So from other places in the very high uh, it's faster for me to pay for public transport compared to biking to work. Have you tried to bike before? Or? I don't know. Okay, for me, because I try to make use of PCN. PCN? Uh, okay. Yeah, right. those are getting you very fast because they are dedicated sure. bike yeah. tracks. Oh, oh, yeah, of course, if you live in the East Coast and work in the city center, you can do it by park connector and yeah. no stops along the way. Yeah, so very little. Yeah. 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 So, a solution actually is back to the infrastructure yes. of yes. dedicated yes. land. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Infra? Can we the PCN goes all the way from East Coast to the city? Yeah. 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 Oh, all the way to Pasir Ridge if you want to. To, to, to city like, center. To city center. Like what, yeah. City Hall? Um, yes. Yeah, city Hall. All the, the, all the, the Singapore Wheel, yeah. as they call it. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 But it's... It's a yeah. bit tricky, okay? Yeah. It's not so straightforward. Because it's you pass by line. Marina Barrage. Oh. Yes. So that means part of the solution could be awareness. Awareness? And everyone moved to Pasir Ridge to live. You know, there should be a Google Drive option for using PCN. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, in Google Maps, you can see the park connector. Yeah. But you have, for seeing the park connector, but, you have but the, they don't in, the in parks. Yes. The Imparks app has the park connector. Yeah, okay. Imparks, yes, but they don't tell, how tell you to uh, yeah, get from the exactly, yeah, exactly. yeah. But re regarding time, actually, I know a case, because it's actually my case. I, I, <laughs> I live in Farrer Park, Purple Line. I work in Ultra Park, Purple Line. I, I work like on the MRT beside the MRT, so it's like that, and I live beside the MRT. It's faster for me to buy, faster to buy. Uh, why? Because from my house until I board the MRT is easily eight to ten minutes, easily, because of course the lagging time of the MRT plus the walking and so on. And then from the when I leave the MRT until I reach the the <laughs> my, my office is a. Uh, in around like six, seven minutes. So the, this time, actually in the bike, it's not that because it's door to door. Because in my case, I have the where to park the bike in both, in both cases. Do you take so, into consideration the shower time? <laughs> 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 I shower in Malaysia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I shower at home or I shower in the office. So in any case, I will shower. So <laughs> if, if, if you don't shower at, in the morning, if you shower at night, it's true that it will be. You need to factor it in the question. 
But okay, so with aware, but this comes back to awareness to if you have tried, you know it. I didn't know it until I tried. I'm making all the points. fast. Okay, infrastructure awareness, distance. So I think distance is like what object I think what most of it lies, which is like essentially if you're a short distance and traveling from point A to point B below a certain kilometer range, like cycling will make most sense. Okay. But if you're traveling really far, like I stay in the west and my workplace is at um, Alexandra, Ikea, yeah. Echo Park, then you would there's no there's no way that a bike can travel through circle line or downtown line, right? So therefore like it doesn't go there. Well, unless you have it's a follow yeah. yeah. But uh, so yeah, true. That's that's the range. That's the range of them. So I think one of the other factors that I notice here is sometimes uh, I, I think it's a measure of distance and time going is when you have something at some other event, right? So you're going to if, if you're going just to and from work, yeah. that's fine. <coughs> yeah, we, we put that one under dependency. Uh, it was mentioned that uh, sometimes, or, or you just don't feel like biking back, it's, it's dark at night, whatever, I don't feel like, so dependent. So let's go to dependency now. Uh, how to solve the dependency problem? So for example, that, that problem that you mentioned, how we can solve it? One would be the, the rental. rental bike, right? Rental? How other ways we can solve dependency? If, eh? So if you take a taxi home and your bicycle is at MRT, then I may or I'm renting a bicycle. Uber, like, cars. Ah, like, 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 when I studied, what they had is in the past, uh, now in the MRT you can bring a foldable bike. But if you don't have a foldable bike, uh, in the place where I studied, they have racks on the buses. That actually, if I don't. Sorry, in the US as well, yeah, true, 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 true. So that would be like fitting up buses, so it, they give you a possibility. But that's the possibility only if you want to, to go back home. If you want to go for an event, for example, it would be a bit tricky. You bring it there, you park it there, then you bring it up. Not okay, but you'll be. During rush hours, you bring your photo bike in, it's really bulky. No, no, you can buy one. You can. You have to buy the right ones, then they are like. But they're not cheap, though. Yeah, they're not cheap. They're not cheap, thousand ringgit. No, more than that if you want to do a couple thousand dollars. Okay, one of the interest ones, because I don't think we have that much time, is cost. I think you probably have, right? Public transport is not as expensive as in other countries. Well, having a bike, it costs some money. So how can we solve that problem? So a common thing in the US is, is it, or at least what was through my old health insurance, was if you bike to, to work instead of commuting by a car, you got a rebate at the end of the year. The health insurance? Right? You got a rebate, but you have your insurance as a club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your insurance even though, no, like in the US, like most other people are like overweight, unhealthy, whatever uh, they come to the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so one is health insurance. That, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool idea, actually. Uh, some other ways. Well, it's pretty common to bike in uh, California. Yeah. yeah. Um, or I know that some companies they actually. Like pay your bike or subsidize your bike. So, bike. so, so yeah. people find like so. So my mom's where she works. She works for the government in the U.S. and, and they'll also give you a uh, end of the year kind of uh, health lifestyle bonus or something. Yeah. Like okay. That. So uh, company company promotion. Yeah. I think I was going to general one off. You really don't like Oh. But the medium only is Yes, but the area is currently not that developed, so it's still suitable for cycling. But if you're talking about a very busy town, yeah. you may have a problem. Okay. I have a final question, and this is the most important question of, of this one. We, we have come with a lot of problems and a lot of solutions. Uh, <coughs> what now? Do you guys know any anybody that will be interested in hearing this, or having this? LTA. Okay, is one, okay. Can the public approach the TA directly? Yes, uh, you have to but you have to go to the right tips. All the people, the right people. You can approach them, but you have to okay. get to the right people. Got it, okay. <coughs> uh, any other way that town you can... Councils. Town councils. Some, some certain cities, town councils are interested in getting 
biking or pushing for biking okay. within their estate. How, how, how can this town council? They might provide certain parking places. Sorry, I mean, how can they yeah, approach? How can you approach them? Do you have like an email or website? Meet the, the um, member of parliament okay. kind of thing. Yeah, the, yeah. the, meet the people sessions. Right. The meet the people sessions. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever you call that. Uh, national parks are building. <coughs> national parks are building. Are they around the island? Well, but also the connectors. They are slowly growing out to the edge, so they will come yeah. to the, the ring. So it's not just okay. a circle, it's mm -hmm. also a dozen tankers inside. Yeah. Right, okay. <coughs> so there's a 20, 30 kind of plan, right? Yep. So that's what's happening. If you look at it every four months, because there's another 40 kilometers of cycleway. Yes. Yeah. So that's what's happening. I just have a remark. Uh, I come from Malaysia, so uh, from the age of, say, eight to um, uh, 15, 16, it's very common for us to bike everywhere, you know, uh, to go to school, to go to uh, activities. So within the town itself, and even to go buy groceries is very common. So I don't see that in Singapore. Is it because the distance is quite short? Uh, not necessarily. Honestly, I I'm trying to like to bike three kilometers, five kilometers on bikes. So. The, the, what I don't see is because in Singapore the perception is uh, for bicycle is not safe for them to, for, for the children to be on bikes yeah. outside of a, a condo yeah. estate yeah. or it's a, a park. When well, you compare JB Central, it's not really a safe place for bike actually. <laughs> 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 perception maybe. But yeah, the park network means it's safe. Yeah, so. Because schools are within reach of the park network. But, but rather than, I mean, what we are hearing a lot here is about biking to work. What I'm trying to say is that maybe we should be encouraging biking for daily life instead, like you know, going for short distances rather than long distances. This is really like a lifestyle thing, like more type of active lifestyle, more like the bike to Okay, I think we have run out of time. Thank you very much for for all your feedback.